What was my favorite UX or UI sort of inspiration of 2018? So what was my favorite product this year? That's a very hard question actually. Hi, my name is Amar and I'm the UX Research Lead at AGN Smart and I'm here to talk about my favorite products of 2018. So my favorite digital product was Real Time Board, which is right here. Uh, we use this every week in our sprints uh, to, to run remote sprints on the iteration week and we also use it to run all of our user um, testing and take notes on it. So this tool is really cool because it just works the way you expect it to. It has all the keyboard shortcuts that designers um, are used to. It's very easy to duplicate stuff and to edit stuff and all of that. And it's very reliable. It's never failed us once. And it's just like really, really good and way better than paper because you can search everything and you can very easily share it all with the client. Um, obviously, I'm not showing something that's you know a real example of what we do here just because we can share client data, but I really recommend Real Time Board. This is a tool where we capture information basically. So like when we're doing the user interviews, that's where we capture all of the notes. So maybe I can show what it looks like from the top level view. What I like about it is like this infinite canvas. Um, yeah, and this is how we organize all of our user research. So we have five columns for the five users that we want to interview. And then we have, this is where we set up like all of, you know, we break it down screen by screen as we design them. And we like put post-it notes for questions uh, that we want to ask them. And then we have this color coding. So like uh, if they tell us something good, we give it a green note. If they tell something, you know, that's critical of the app, we put it in an orange note and things like that. Yeah, it's an awesome app. Okay, so for this one, I have a very boring answer, which is books. People don't read enough books, and there are a lot of books that are directly related to product and sometimes not so directly related that just alter the way that you think and eventually make you a much better product designer. So if you read books about marketing, about growth, like we have Hacking Growth over here on the shelf, we have many copies of it, because when you first read that book, it's not going to be immediately obvious how this is going to help you in your design job. But when you're designing your apps, you will think of how can I uh, put a feature in here that will help spread this app virally, for example. So this is the kind of stuff that will just, it will seep into your thinking and it will change the way that you design things. So I think that's the best way to, to level up your design game, right? Now. Oh, hey, um, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? How can I help you? My actual answer is quite boring because it's YouTube um, and in second place it's Instagram. But since that's a boring answer, I'm going to talk to you about what, what I find to be a really interesting app. So it's Cake. Cake is a new browser that just got launched. It kind of rethinks how um, browser search works on a mobile device. So let's search for Cake, for example. Um, just enter cake and instead of getting a list of results it goes straight to what it considers so for some reason it just went straight to Google Maps because it thinks I'm looking for food um, I swipe to the right it's showing like what the first result would have been on Google and you just sort of swipe through the results which I find really really useful um, I, you saw that I had Mar Mario Kart Deluxe <laughs> was in there that's because I was looking also for like um, things that I could like cheats or, or ways to play the game a little bit better but it's cool that you don't have to see the list first it removes the step because mostly you go to like one of the first three sites so you type in what you want then you just like swipe twice and you're there so I think Cake is a really interesting browser um, I've been using it I don't think it's going to replace Safari for me because Apple doesn't really allow you to choose different native um, or different default browsers um, but yeah, I think for me, Cake like took the most basic thing on the planet and most like obvious default thing, which is a browser on a mobile device, and took it in a different direction that I wasn't expecting. Hi, I'm Tim. I'm a product design director at Agent Smart. I um, I run sprints for clients. I work as a product strategist. I have a product I I really like. And the funny thing is, I don't actually use it myself um, <laughs> because because I just never have time to do it. But it's essentially uh, yeah, like the trivia quiz show um, broadcasted at I think two times during the day. So you actually have to set a reminder for yourself to open the app at a specific time to participate in that in that quiz show. And um, why why I like this product is because it's 
Like on the surface level, it's super simple. It's it's almost like taking the concept of like the decade old concept of a quiz show um, that could have been broadcasted on TV and doing it at scale um, on a digital platform. I think the way this um, this has been executed is just done so well, and I think it's a great example of how how you can actually differentiate your product by um, by adding personality to it because you see it's not just like this platform where you're just like almost like answering generic questions you actually have like this host and I think there are actually two two or three hosts now and um, these people are basically the face of the of the service and um, this is something that I think is often overlooked in, in products that um, it's not just about the technology behind it. I mean, people tend to be like super infatuated with it, like the smartness of the technology, but honestly, the technology has to be great, but ultimately users often don't care like what's going on under the hood. Um, if you don't attach like some kind of personality to it, then it's very hard to differentiate your product and make, make, make it clear like how this is different. And I mean something like HQ Trivia, I mean let's, let's, be, let's be honest, I mean Trivia apps have existed in the App Store probably since the iPhone came out or the App Store. Um, so um, the way they kind of like just came up with a completely different spin to this um, is just really interesting and always like a really cool example. I think there's, there are so many different, like there's so many cool design tools coming out now um, like basically you have you have the choice between a lot of tools that are really really useful and great but I think what interests me at the moment is figuring out like not necessarily the user experience part of a product but what actually makes a product successful and why do people choose to invest time into a product this is why I, I love listening to a product strategy uh, podcast at the moment. So one of my favorite podcasts is called Exponent. Um, it's uh, hosted by Ben Thompson and uh, James Alworth. They uh, work for Silicon Valley uh, companies, uh, venture capitalist companies, funds. Um, and they're just deep diving into specific topics uh, in each episode of the podcast. Like for example, looking at knowledge from subject matter experts. Um, so this is one of my, my favorite podcasts. My name is Fjodor. Um, I work at ASMA as a, as a product designer. And the first example is called Low. It's basically a software uh, which you can teach like uh, AI how to organize objects and it's still in beta and like they were like uh, already acquired by Microsoft so like uh, it works like this have like uh, an input like for example is, is it like an image or a video and then you can teach the AI to um, transform the image into something like organizable it's an example like how it analyzes the like the video of the of the hand into the hand emojis. They have lots lots of examples, and the cool thing is that it's not very geeky. Like it, it seems like pretty manageable that like almost a person like without any programming skills uh, will run. So for example, like here it can recognize different like, plants uh, just from its picture. And then maybe some of you seen the show Silicon Valley and the guys basically build the same thing as in the show. So like they can recognize if it's a hot dog or not a hot dog. And another example I can show you is uh, an app called Must. It's basically an app to manage your uh, movies and shows like which ones you you watch which ones you want to watch and it also inspires your like uh, choices i can see what my friends like from facebook like um watched and how they read it like this person like created gladiator by eight mm -hmm. and i can see everything by the movie and of course i watched gladiator so i'm also gonna read it i think it's gonna be a nine Oof. I mean like it, it, it doesn't like have an integration with Netflix necessarily, it just like analyzes uh, what is happening in the movie industry and it basically helps you what to watch. For example like here, uh, this like Spider-Man uh, cartoon came out, they want to show you like some other like uh, uh, superhero movies, so yeah this is it. I'm Jonas. 
and the product standard agents like. So there are two things. One is more like really product related, focused on the customer or on the consumer. And one just has a very, very cool design. First, I want to show you, it's called No Zero Days. Because it just encourages you to create something, help people, let's uncheck menus, let's so learn something, um, work on your health, help other people and create something. And every time you did something like that, for example, I learned something, I tapped this. Of course, the goal for me is, and also for my brain, because the brain always likes to close these circles, um, is to have these filled circles. And it's just a very nice feeling. And it actually, I'm using it since I think two days or so. The second product is actually Sift. That's a new therapy app. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a very cool way to discover news. First, I love the colors and the design. And when you actually use it, you can swipe through news stories. And when you swipe, there's like a small animation happening, which just makes it interesting to discover new news, also interesting news. And that's just the, yeah, the, the product, which I really like when it comes to design. I don't have it on my phone, but I recommend <laughs> does it, it. Does it come as an app? Yeah, it actually does, but only for iPhone. So f Android. <laughs> I'll, I'll beat that out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. We'd love to know what your most inspirational UX moment of the year uh, 2018 was. Um, if you liked this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more AJ and Smart stuff, make sure to give it a subscribe. Um, we love making videos here at AJ and Smart. Here's our little room where we make stuff. And here's Fedor just like watching me make this video. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. If you like this channel, if you want to see more of that, give it a sub. Let me get my thinking pose. Oh! Okay, I don't, I don't know. It's not my favorite. I don't know. I don't get it. A few interesting products come out. That clear is still. No! <laughs>